Hello everyone. Hi world. My name is Peter Schmid and I am Vice President of Operations for Concerto Cloud. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about best practices for a multi-cloud management strategy. Before we can talk about strategy, we should probably pause for a second and define what multi-cloud is and what hybrid cloud is because the terms sometimes get misunderstood in the marketplace. So let's talk about multi-cloud. Multi-cloud is really two clouds. So if you have two clouds that you work with today, then you're in a multi-cloud environment. By the way, multi-cloud could be an on-premise infrastructure. It doesn't necessarily need to be a private cloud like Concerto or a public cloud like AWS or Azure. Hybrid cloud is defined by bridging those two clouds together so that they interop together. It's like it's almost like an integration of applications if, if for those of you that are developers. Important characteristics of hybrid cloud integration are things like high-speed private connectivity. Another really big component, and you hear a lot about this if you read um, some of the various technology publications, is preventing cloud lock-in. That's a really important concept because multi-cloud and hybrid cloud really embrace the concept, the future concept of what we call workload portability. In the future, we will be able to move workloads from one cloud to the other cloud in a very transparent manner. And so developing a hybrid strategy that will facilitate that in the future as the technology evolves is really, really important. And we have to begin that process now. So let me give you three best practices for moving from a multi-cloud to a hybrid cloud architecture. First, you have to decide the right place to run the workload. Not all clouds are created equal, and so being selective at where you actually run those workloads is very important. Things like performance, things like disaster recovery, geo disaster recovery are all very important in considering where a workload should live. Number two is you wanna to start top of stack when you start looking at your architecture versus working from the bottom up. All too often, people begin with thinking through the infrastructure and how all those components to, uh, should work. You really need to start from the top, the application of the solution. And here's why I say that. In today's environment, we, we hear a lot about cybersecurity. And so a good emphasis when you start talking about application down is start with cybersecurity or application security requirements, and then work down through all of the various components until you hit the infrastructure. And number three is how you manage this new hybrid cloud environment. It's obviously not very efficient to have multiple management stacks managing, managing workloads in different clouds. So through this hybrid component, we wanna centralize on a single stack that looks and manages every one of those components, including things like the application, again, going back to cybersecurity, application performance, infrastructure performance, and so focusing in on a single architecture that deploys a single management stack, one that we'd say rules them all or manages them all is really, really important. Developing a future-proof strategy around hybrid cloud computing is very complex. And so Concerto has put together a group of advisors, we call it our advisory services team, that can work with our customers or prospects to sit down and understand what their 12, 24, and 36 month objectives are, uh, cloud strategy, so to speak, that incorporates hybrid cloud as well as where the industry is going. So if you're interested in hybrid cloud computing, please visit us on our website at www.concertocloud.com. We have a really cool section on cloud advisory where you can go and fill out a form and some of our experts can engage in, in a uh, first step, which would be an assessment of your environment. Thank you for listening.